compassion and disruption. People talk about Uber in a way that is reductive of the problem that is solved. It isn't just an app that connects freelance drivers with people who need a ride. You must understand how passionately frustrated people were with cabs and the lack of customer orientedness of the drivers in general. They truly had no option but to take the subpar service. On the other end, you have to consider the passion of those who were interested in earning side income. They really wanted a few hundred extra bucks because that means some presents for their child that Christmas. And then look at Uber and you can truly take in the disruption that happened. There is no disruption without passion. Remember that there is positive passion and negative passion. Negative passion is the gift that keeps giving. The more people are annoyed by your competitors, the more opportunity you have to play the disruptive savior. But don't let that be the only passion you consider. Positive passion is what your audience is truly passionate about, and you can leverage that to make millions. For instance, people are passionate about Disney's nostalgic classics. They remade them into live action films, and some of the films grossed unexpected numbers. Netflix doubled down on the sleeper hit Money Heist, which was concluded by its second season. The company commissioned the production of season three and four, and the story goes on. So be careful about the products your customers are hurting for, but also what they are annoyed by. And getting that information is half the battle. While big data analysis might show a lot, it is also the data most corporations are looking at. I want you to befriend people within your audience, truly become accessible. That will get you raw knowledge that is exclusive to you as most CEOs like to only hang out with and speak to CEOs and executives. Why do you think that despite running a multi-million dollar business, I leave my personal number public? Because if my customers or one of the readers of my book is hurting for a specific piece of information, a certain kind of guidance, I want to know and I want to be able to deliver. Remember that positive passion will usually guide you towards the products that people will love. And negative passion will let you know the solutions that people will love. When it comes to technology, you cannot rely on what people want to produce the next big thing. Steve Jobs created the iPhone when people didn't even know it was possible to have those features with that user interface. You cannot rely on a positive passion for technological innovation. You have to look at a negative passion. Because while people limit the possibilities when thinking about what they want, they're frustrated when they are frustrated. And your tech can fix that. And if they want something, it is likely going to be a show, a collaboration, or a movie, i.e. non-tech product. Don't try to create solutions for every complaint. Measure complaints by volume and depth and fix what people hate most passionately.